Hello, today is Monday. Let's continue our conversation from last week on life insurance. Life insurance for, say, senior citizens. You turn the TV on, daytime TV, and you can see continually celebrities advertising for life insurance, final expense insurance. I wonder, why do they do that? Well, obviously, there's a good marketplace for it. Let's consider some of these things. A quick perusal of the internet can tell you that funeral expenses can run between seven to $9,000. This can be for the funeral home charges, transportation charges, embalming, uh, hair and makeup, believe it or not, uh, the funeral services, viewing, uh, a hearse, a vault, a casket, uh, and to that you can also add the uh, cemetery charges. Let's not forget, there are possibly unpaid medical bills that need to be addressed, short-term bills for housing, utilities, insurances, insurance still may need to be paid, and there could be taxes. But remember I said, why do they advertise for things such as this? Well, dun 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 dun, dun. guess what? Social Security comes to the rescue with $255. Doesn't that seem like a slap in the face? Well, you know, you may look at things and say, when you're evaluating this part of life, my estate is worth so much. I have so much money saved up. My house is worth this. I have this much in the bank. I have this much in investment accounts. I don't need to have final expense or life insurance. And you know what? That on paper might seem to make sense. However, something I learned when I first got into this business many, many, many years ago is a client came to me and said, Look at my estate, it's worth so much money. They don't need to have life insurance, except I still want it because it may take a period of time for my estate to be settled. And who's going to pay these bills? I don't want to put that burden on my loved one. Yes, that could be a burden that could be passed on. Maybe your children would be the ones who survive you and they might be doing well, but they just may not have the money necessary to cover these expenses while the estate could be settled. And sometimes it can take as much as two years or more to settle an estate. Mostly this can be done uh, rather quickly though. The life insurance that is paid through these final expense policies, at least the companies I represent, tend to pay their bills or their obligations in about seven to 12 business days. So, as a final act of love to your beneficiaries, maybe having final expense insurance is just what the doctor would order when you are making these types of arrangements. Once again, don't hesitate to give me a call. My numbers are shown below. If you have any questions and concerns, be happy to discuss that with you.